On September 12, 1962, President John F. Kennedy gave a speech not too far from here outlining a bold vision, a mission that would require massive resources and innovation, but most importantly, a desire to be daring. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies. Now, before I hear it yelled from the back of the room, I'll be the first to admit that I am no Jack Kennedy, <laughs> but I believe that we as collective math educators deserve an equally bold and far-reaching mission. Teachers, raise your hand if you cried at some point in time in your first year. <laughs> so I would guess that I would get a different response at the upcoming American Accounting Association annual meeting. <laughs> and that should be unacceptable to us all. Politicians, we need a career that is manageable in year one, sustainable in year five, and fulfilling in year 10. 15 year veterans should be able to not have to choose between staying in the classroom and taking on leadership roles. Our classrooms are becoming more diverse, but our teaching faculty rooms are not keeping up. We need more elementary school teachers that look like me and more high school teachers that don't look like me. It's imperative that our schools and our teaching profession reflect our students. Now, this is where this whole talk can get a little bit ugly because up until now, I think I can get all of you on board with us, uh, higher pay, less work, and greater diversity, but I wanna challenge us all tonight. I wanna challenge myself tonight. First thing is, teacher educators, I want to rethink our definition of teaching. I'm probably going to alienate about 70% of you, but I'm going to make the argument that John Keating is not a great teacher. Yes, eloquent monologues may be inspiring. Standing on a desk I've found is a really great classroom management tool. <laughs> but both are teacher-centered, and neither necessarily lead to learning. We need to rethink teaching as facilitating. <laughs> High school teachers, we need to stop blaming previous teachers for deficiencies. We need to stop defending indefensible practices based on the idea that they'll need to know it in the future. Curriculum writers, math, like the 20 rings in a well-known Tolkien series, is a beautiful tool. It's a beautiful art, a way to convince the skeptical, uh, a way to uh, correct the uh, sorry, for some state All right. <laughs> Got it out of the way. <laughs> Elementary school teachers, let's be hobbits. Let's create more, let's create more tinkering and inventing in our classroom. Let's remember though that math can also be a corrupter. It's too, too often a gatekeeper for future endeavors. And it's too often just calculations. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Assessment writers, if your students having access to a calculator breaks your test, then your test was already broken. You can clap and then I just don't have to remember the words for this slide so I can just skip over them. <laughs> yeah, so you just, yeah. <laughs> Middle school teachers, we need to recognize that teaching is inherently political, that all of our students need us to be defending them, especially our historically disenfranchised students of color, our LGBTQ community, and students that are being pushed back by powerful factions. Assessment writer, we need to recognize that not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. So I say, let's go to the moon. Let's let a sustainable career be our stable rocket ship. Let's let rethinking the content that we teach and focusing more on mathematical habits of mind being our command module. <laughs> Researchers Gilovich and Medbeck research regret, and what they found is that in the short term, we tend to regret the things that we do, but in the long term, we tend to re regret the things that we don't do. I'm here to make a pledge tonight that I'm in for the long term, and I'd like you to join me in working to make things better, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And you don't have to agree with everything that I said tonight, 
and I would love for you to push back. Just remember that Kennedy had 17 minutes for his push, and I only had five. Thank you.